the job. Assis is no longer unemployed. Assis is no longer struggling. Assis is employed. Purr. Thank you, God. Your girl is no longer unemployed. She is employed. She is a working woman. So, quick update. Just a quick one. Just a quick update. The last time I posted in regards to employment, um, I was obviously unemployed, but that week I'd just done a few interviews. And those interviews didn't go well. I didn't get the job. I did pass the interview as always I'm a really good interviewer like I feel like I'm very like charismatic and I always get like my personality across within interviews so like people kind of you know gravitate towards me because I'm like kind of charismatic like I said so I always do well in interviews like interviewers always like me um, but there's well recently the past interviews that I did there was just always someone that obviously scored higher than me so I didn't end up getting the job um, I remember in that previous video I did mention that I'd done a few interviews and I was just waiting to hear back from them but I didn't get the job so sis was still out here in the trenches like applying um, and I'm not gonna lie to you like I wasn't applying to jobs like that that regularly there were certain jobs I was willing to apply for um, so like I was looking for like um, obviously health coach health and well-being coach I was looking for health and well-being advisor life coach I was looking for mental health trainer mental health coach um, and I was trying to stay away from like support working because I don't really like support working I don't think it's for me so I was definitely not trying to go back into that but I know like there were so many applications I could have like completed for support working and I would have gotten the job um, especially because one of my friends works at a mental health um, charity and they were looking for mental health workers so she would have gotten me the job ASAP but I told her now nah, that that's really not what I want I'm not wanting to go back into support working it's just not for me I feel like it'd be like a step in the wrong direction I'd just be going backwards on myself so um, I stuck firm and like only applied to jobs that made sense and they weren't regular like the, there wasn't regular posts unfortunately like it'd be like I guess one to a week or something I was only really applying to the ones that I really wanted to apply for you know there's jobs that you don't really want to apply for and then you go to apply for it and it's like a complicated application process instead of like just handing your cv um so those i didn't apply for because i don't really want to work for you so i'm not really going to put my time and energy into something that i'm not really there for um and apologies guys i do have a bit of a cold going on so eyes may look a bit red nose may look a bit red and i might start sniffing because your girl got a cold so yeah i stuck to my guts and like i was really like very laid back actually for someone who is unemployed i was very 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 laid back um 
but yeah I kept searching kept looking for jobs that made sense for me there was two that I really wanted from the University of Leeds one was like pastoral support officer and the other one was a well-being officer and the pay was amazing and obviously it's University of Leeds and it would have been like term time only and like bank holidays like it just sounded so ideal so perfect someone's coming by and I'm gonna get a show I was just so excited to apply for those jobs so I applied for one of them which was the pastoral support and I didn't even get into the interview stage like I've heard that universities are really really strict like they're very rigid in regards to like um, obviously recruitment and stuff I wasn't even surprised that I didn't get the interview um, and then there was the other one the well-being officer because I didn't even pass through the interview stage with the other one I was kind of demoralized to even go through that whole application process again obviously it's currently the 17th of May and I got my job offer last week so I was a good month and a bit unemployed so it was just very like it was starting to get a bit disheartening like I just started to feel like oh like do you know what I mean like <laughs> I was still praying to God and I was still steadfast and like you know trusting God like I was still going out on my walks and I was still seeing my friends like one thing I recommend when you're in like some kind of like period of trial like when you are especially when you're unemployed because obviously you don't want to do anything because you don't have money and like you feel kind of depressed because you feel like oh my god what's going on like what am I going to do with my life um so that can often cause people to withdraw but that is the worst thing that you can do for yourself definitely definitely make it and make an effort to like be outside and be around your friends and you know exercise go for a walk and read and you know spend quality time with your loved ones because like the more you withdraw yourself the more you're just getting your head and the more you know the whole process will actually frustrate you so I made it a conscious effort to like not be like that because I remember being like that in the past and I was just like nah I can't be that same way again. One thing I would advise you as well is if you are obviously unemployed, you're not studying, you can apply for new style job seekers allowance. So my manager told me to apply for it when obviously I left my previous work and um, yeah I applied for it. process was pretty smooth. Um, I they processed my application I went to like a an interview at a job centre and they started making me bi-weekly bi-weekly payment sorry and although it's not a lot it's just something that's um, gonna somewhat keep you afloat it's definitely not gonna like pay well it's definitely not paying my bills um, but it's definitely something that you can have on the side and like you know do something with like it keeps you somewhat I don't want to say it keeps you afloat but it just keeps you going you know it keeps you going it keeps you it keeps giving you that faith that yeah I'm gonna get more money I'm gonna get my job and like everything's gonna be okay type of thing so definitely look into what benefits that you can get how I got my current job then so someone a recruiter actually reached out to me on LinkedIn and the post that he offered to me he was like oh my god I think you'd be perfect for this role blah 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 it's so many hours and you know salaries this much blah 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 and I I was like initially I was unsure because it was like the hours were quite unsocial and I didn't know whether I wanted to go back to working on social hours so I was quite hesitant at first and I didn't even reply to him for like a few days because I was like mm, no um, but like after I went back to it and actually read like the job description like it actually made a lot of sense it made sense for me to apply for the job so I was like yeah might as well like and I feel like I was just trying to you know be picky and trying to find like a perfect role but I feel like in the end like this is actually the role that would make the most sense like the salary is the minimum salary that I prayed for to God and I was like God like give me a job with minimum said salary in so the role of the job is student welfare officer with a university and it's not your traditional university it's more so a university for like mature students or international students for students who wouldn't typically get access to university um, so it's like a pathway for them to get into higher education so that's my role the process was pretty smooth like I just told the guy I applied and then he said he'd get in contact with his manager and then like a day or two after I got offered an interview did the interview and I actually felt quite calm in the interview like one of the managers was actually pretty young and she moved from Manchester to London and you know she was doing the job and the actual area manager or business manager was a black woman and she also um, looked pretty young so I was like oh my god like this seems great like I feel like I can, re I can relate to these people I feel like I'd fit in well in this company so I was actually quite 
optimistic um, after the interview I actually felt great I felt like I did well and you know I felt like it went good and then the following week I actually had another interview so I had an interview with my previous company and it was for another like health and well-being coach role but it was more in regards to like smoking cessation and like helping people to quit smoking um so i did that and it was funny because literally mid interview i was getting a call from obviously my current company that i got the got the job offer from and i had to like keep declining because they were trying to contact me at least two or three times and i just had to keep declining because i was in an interview i think that interview went well as well again like i feel like i i feel like i know what to expect from um, like these interviews like in regards to questioning and I already and I already have like a set answers that I am going to use in my interview so it just felt quite relaxing obviously aside from like you know standard interview nerves like I just felt like okay whatever I've got this and I didn't even prepare too much for this thing for the second interview because I was like I already kind of know the company and like you know knowledge on smoking cessation wasn't um, essential so I just felt quite you know relaxed in regards to the interview so yeah after that interview ended I called back um, to hear back from my other interview and they were like oh my god the hiring team really loved you and they would like to offer you a job and they're offering you the highest um, salary band and I was like oh my gosh like what really me imagine if they didn't offer me that high salary I would be stuck again because i said i need a minimum salary and if they didn't give me that i would have like had to decline chair um and then the interview that i did after that one for the smoking sensation they called me as well like a few days ago and they offered me a role as well but they're offering me 23k and i said no thank you i already got a way better offer one thing i'm actually really excited about in regards to this company is that they're quite new and they have um tremendous opportunities for growth like they have many campuses around the uk and abroad and obviously you can move around wherever there's vacancy whatever fits like you can actually move around and get that career progression which i didn't think was that readily available in my previous company and from what i believe i'm going to be the only student welfare officer during my shift so it's basically i have like creative control over the well-being service that i'll be offering during my shift for the students at the time so i feel like there's a lot of room for like expression independence and just moving even up and like just doing your own thing and like being a boss at what you do so that's actually why I'm really excited about working for this company and I feel like it's a step in the right direction. I do volunteer currently as a leadership coach for undergraduate students um, so I think that it aligns perfectly. I've always said I've always wanted to work with like young girls, create some kind of charity for young girls in education and like coach them through that whole phase of like you know from high school up until university and just support them in becoming who they want to be in life so I think it really aligns with like my goals and like where i want to be career wise so yeah that's the situation i'm super happy um i start at the end of the month which is great and so i've got like a week or so now currently until the start of the job so that means i need to get my stuff together i need to get into creating a routine sorting out my days my diary and really you know prepare myself for work um but yeah that's my current situation i am now employed still going through the checks and stuff but they just get in some references and if all is well i will start at the end of the month and yeah so there's hope guys like i was actually starting to get discouraged i was actually starting to feel quite like you know low although i was trusting in god i knew i'd get a job eventually but i was just like scared that i'd have to settle and scared that it wouldn't be exactly what i wanted and you know with this role i really do feel like it's a step in the right direction so there's hope so if you are in a similar situation like do not give up keep doing what you're doing keep applying keep that faith and trust and you know everything will work out um but yeah that's it for me thank you so much for watching make sure to comment like and subscribe and yeah i'll catch you in the next video ciao